Hello sunshines and welcome to the Valiant Tea Plays Mermaid Swamp by Yuri Games. During their vacation, Rin and her friends get lost in a mountainous area and are forced to stay with a mysterious old man. But as night falls, they all become affected by something that lurks in the swamp. Warning, this video contains strong language and graphic imagery. Discretion is advised. Now without further ado, let's get started. This is a horror game. It contains scares and grotesque sexual content, so beware. Also, please adhere to the following rules to prevent trouble. If these rules conflict with the rules on the author's site, the rules on the site take priority, so please check. No repurposing resources except author's illustrations. No redistribution of the game files except for translations. Do not cut the end credits from videos of the game. Check the author's site for more information. Acknowledge that the author takes no responsibility for any trouble caused by the use of this software. Because it was a really sketchy site that I got this game off of. Uh, so we're not going to be doing um, full voice acting because it is in Japanese. And uh, so it's just going to be me reading the dialogue because, yeah, otherwise, um, it's just really weird. Even though the voice acting was really good, uh, it's, mm. <laughs> it's just going to be really weird to have the voice actors going and then me reading for people who are listening to this and not actually watching. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, also, if you hear a bunch of commotion in the background, that is because there are two puppies in here. And what are you doing? What is that? Oh, it's a... How did you even get this? Go get it. Yeah, there's two puppies in here, and there's nothing I can do about it. So you're just going to have to deal with that. That's my foot. What the? Uh, mm, am I a dear water? What the hell am I doing? Somebody there? I don't know what the sub key is, so. Ow, Piccata. Ren. Rin, wake up! <clears throat> For crying out loud, just get up already! <sighs> oh, shut up! I was just taking a nap, that's so bad. <laughs> One hell of a nap. Yuda's been driving all this time and Yuda's been snoozing in the back. She's <laughs> not a hint of lady in this one. You ain't gotta be a lady for a punk like you. Ren, rise and shine. Since you started around noon, I'm guessing you slept well. Well, it was a rude awakening with gray hairs here, but sure, I slept well. Quit your yammering, Yamazaki. Hey. By the way, Yuta, where are we anyway? You said something about kicking it into high gear, but are we in the mountains or what? <laughs> My bad. I don't know where this is either. <laughs> You're telling me we're lost? Yep. Don't have the first clue where we are. You're kidding. You said the mountains were a shortcut, so I thought you knew the way. I'm sorry about that. I mean, I did kind of know at first, but the fog got so thick, so sooner or later... <laughs> that ain't funny, shrimp face. This is exactly why I didn't want to go on no trip in my your rusty old no GPS car. Ah, uh, don't be like that. I said sorry. Well, now what do we do? I don't even see any signs around. What's the matter, Bacata? Huh? Why did you stop? Ow, Bacata. Okay, ow. What's wrong? Ow! That's my face. I don't know. We just stopped moving. Hold on a sec. 
I'll test the engine. Oh, crap, that's not good. Sounds like it's totally busted. Are you for real? Ugh, you dumbass! Wait here, I'll go out and take a look at the car. Okay. Um, nothing looks out of sorts here. Nothing looks out of sorts here. Why the hell did it stop? Guess it, just looking at it won't do much. Nothing seems amiss here. Hmm. Hey, is somebody there? Mm, quite a surprise. What would you be doing up in these mountains, miss? Oh, just an old coot. Freaked me the hell out. Right, I was on a trip with my college pals, but our car went kaput, so we're kind of stuck. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Do you have any way you can stay? Nope, nothing. If we can't get it running, I guess we'll be spending the night in the car. Ah, that would be most terrible. My home is nearby. By all means, stay there, even in the summer. It's quite cool at night. For real? Well, let me just talk to my buds. What a relief. Thank you, old man. Uh, but you're sure now. We don't want to put any pressure on you. Now, now. I own the land in these parts, you see. My house's size far outstrips my own needs. Ah, that's right. I should introduce myself. My name is Yukio Shushida. I'm just a lonely old man living on my own. So some young folks could liven up the house. I'm really grateful. We'll just get the car fixed and leave tomorrow. This here is my house. Whoa, this place is huge. Oh, it's you, oh boy. That's a pretty huge pond. Artificially made, I bet. Oh no, that's the swamp. Uh, the house was built by the nearby swamp. I see a mansion over there, too. Is that also your house, Mr. Sushida? Indeed, but it's not being used now. I had this new one built around the late 80s. Now, it's getting chilly, so let's get, be getting inside. I'll show you the, to the guest rooms. Oh god, why are you so close? You may use this room, Miss Wren. Ah, do forgive the mustiness. <laughs> it ain't nothing. I kind of like the retro style it's got going. Thanks again, Gramps. Say, I'm sure you're all hungry, aren't you? I'll cook you some dinner. Until then, please make yourself at home. A desk. The desk lamp has an outlet on it. Large dresser. The luggage is in here. Oh. <clears throat> nice. How do I go back? Fireplace. Oh, nice. A trash can. Seitaro's room. Hey, Bren, you better not be rude to Mr. Shishida. We're indebted to him for the day. <laughs> what do you mean, rude? Like these two dogs that won't stop fighting while I'm recording? I mean, don't go calling him an old coot. And don't make demands on what's for dinner. I mean, don't go calling him an old coot. And don't make demands on what's for dinner. Well, maybe that's not that impudent. Impudent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably shouldn't go upstairs without asking. Hey, Utah. Wait, wrong one. Yuka. Hey, have you seen the paintings in the hall? Nope, haven't yet. You should look later. There are some really pretty pictures of ladies. 
Oh, gotcha. I'll take a gander. <laughs> okay. Hey, listen, Ren. Isn't that swamp outside the house the hugest? I went out to look earlier. It's really pretty. Oh, really? I was thinking it was kind of goopy and filthy. Not at all, man. Look later, okay? I might ask if we can go swimming tomorrow. Well, don't you come near me with after that. You're gonna reek. Shells. Oh. Cool. <laughs> the hell is this? Creepy. TV on the rack. There's a DVD player and more. Fireplace. What are you eating? Pakata. Stop that. Can you move? Thank you. Okay. I guess that's the other the other way in. Yeah. It's a lot of ways into that particular room. Don't want to talk to him just yet. Do more exploration. The dining room. It's a store. Oh, the bathroom. Weird. Bathtub is pretty large. A bath stool, but no toilet. A wash basin. A trash can. Piccata. Cut it out. That's one big swamp. Can't even see the other side through this fog. Hmm? What's this? A stone monument? A man did abduct upon the seashore. Crap, I can't read this. Maybe Sitaro would know about this old stuff. He's got more knowledge than he knows what to do with. Curious about the monument? Ah, the old man! You really gotta not do that. Oh, my apologies. So, you've read the inscription there? Nah, I couldn't make heads or tails of it. What's it say? It's a legend that's told around here. The legend of the so-called Mermaid Swamp. Legend? Mermaid Swamp? It originated in the middle of the Meiji area. Wow. <laughs> the Meiji... Meiji era? My family was governed this has governed this area since around that time. Or rather we simply owned the mountains. It is said the son of the leader descended the mountains, reached the seaside sea wow. It is said the son of a leader descended the mountains, reached the seaside, and found a mermaid. Sounds kinda shady right out the gate. <laughs> Well, it is a legend. The man was so smitten with the mermaid's beauty that he took her to his mountain home. He created a fish tank for her and had her live within, and he filled it with the water from this very swamp. But a mermaid of the sea cares not for swamp water. The mermaid grew weak and became quite ugly. Her clear skin swelled, her scales fell off, and her voice was as melodic as ringing bells was reduced to a beastly howl. 
The mermaid soon took a most repulsive form and subsequently died. And a mermaid's wrath is surely not a petty thing. Young women vanished from the nearby village. People called that the mermaid's curse. As such, the monument was put up to mourn her. <laughs> what do you think? Hard to call it romantic, but interesting nonetheless, yes? <laughs> Sorry, but I don't know about all that. Seitaro likes stories and stuff, but so he might get it more. <laughs> oh, is that right? Ah, uh, yes, I've prepared dinner now, so come to the dining room if you would. Oh, finally. Okay, let's get a move on. He's not going to eat with us? Mmm, delish. Mmm, delish. This is some great stuff, old man. I'm glad you like it. Take it slow and eat up. Uh, the bath is free if anyone wants to use it. You must be tired from the day's events. Please, rest yourselves. See you. Yuka, you aren't going to eat? What's up? Yeah, I guess I'm just too tired to have an appetite. Whoa, you okay? We'll do the cleanup. You can get some rest. All right. Thanks, Yuta. Mmm, yum, yum. Okay, y'all clean up now. Ugh, why do we have to clean up after you? Do it yourself, yummy yucky. Mm, I'm stuffed. Can't be bothered to bathe. I'm ready to conk out. <laughs> Am I underwater again? <sighs> Must be a dream. I'm not drowning, but and my eyes don't hurt. Stop eating my rug. Can't move a muscle though, and it's really cold. S somebody's there again. Who the hell is it? Why are you staring at me? I'll kill you. Is it morning? Man, what a strange dream. Long cooking chopsticks. Okay. Yo, Yuka, it's morning, you know. You ready to get up? Sorry, Ren. I've kind of got the chills. Is it okay if I rest a little longer? I got you. Are you okay, though? Don't overdo it. Yeah, I'm fine. It's really foggy out, so maybe I've got a cold. Okay, so I obviously missed one when I didn't talk to the old man. Ugh. You guys are up early. What are you up to? As if it's actually early. It's already 10. But anyway, I checked the car on the car earlier and it's still totally busted. Couldn't be out of gas. It's so old, I wouldn't rule out it just falling apart. But whatever it is, how are we going to leave? <sighs> Good morning, everyone. What's happening here? So that's the story, old man. I'm really sorry. 
but can we stay a little lo while longer? I want to see if we can't fix the car. I don't mind at all, but... As it happens, I have to go out for a few days, to the nearby village on some business. I must be leaving around evening. Is that right? Well, we'll be out soon then. We wouldn't want to stay too long. Even without a car, we should find our way walking. Uh, we could leave the car and take a train home if need be. At any rate, just gotta go down the mountain. No, it's quite all right for you to stay. I'm the only one who lives here, after all, and I would be, qu would quite appreciate someone looking after it. Huh? Really? Indeed. And besides, you wouldn't get far walking in the mountains. Certainly not in this fog. You're more than welcome to stay until your car is fixed. Just please don't do anything dangerous like walking around the mountains. All right. Thanks, Gramps. Well then, I'll, I've got to be heading out. I'll keep close eye on any flames, and again, the mountains are dangerous, so don't... We get it, okay? We'll hold down the fort. Don't, don't you worry, old man. Just go... Don't trip and die yourself, oh, you hear? <laughs> I'll be careful. So long. Oh, hey, it's evening already. Better be the first to use the bath. I hate to go in after the guys. Oh, wait. Yeah. What is this room? Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's the good stuff. I was so busy yesterday, I couldn't get a relaxing bath in and having a huge one like this is sweet wonder if Yuka's gonna bathe sucks that she's not feeling well waste of a trip mm, I'm getting sleepy mm -hmm. oh <gasps> what the hell is this the water got all gross. It wasn't this color when I got in, right? <sighs> not my fault, right? I'm not that dirty, right? Dude, hey, what's the matter? <sighs> the hell are you barging in on me for? For real, though, this is like mud. Just how gross is that body of yours? <laughs> Shut your mouth. That ain't the problem. The water just got all muddy just like that. <sighs> Alright, jokes aside then. Isn't this swamp water? Swamp water? Why would that be in the bath, genius? I don't know. Maybe the plumbing screwed up. So it mixed in some swamp water. Though the shower and toilet look okay. Where the fuck is the toilet? <laughs> well, better not bathe for a while, I guess. We'll have to hold out till the old man's back. Okay, I'm out. Damn it. What even? Oh, this pisses me off. I'll check on Yuka then get to bed. What are you doing? Stop eating my rug. Such. Is this the living room? Oh, that's the toilet. <laughs> and that's the living room. There's Satoru. Rin, what's your bus size? <laughs> F, so what? No wonder. So all those nutrients meant for your head just went to your chest instead, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's some excuse for peeping at someone's chest. How about I peel you apart, gray hairs? Where's the dude? Oh, this is Seitaro's room. I think this is what's-his-face's room? Yeah.
Hey, Bryn, take a look at this. What's this, a leaf? What about it? No, not a leaf. I think it's a water plant. I checked on the car first thing this morning, and this was stuffed in the exhaust. Maybe someone did it as a prank while we were parked yesterday? Boy, there's some weird people out there. Can I look at... Oh. Okay, so I skipped... Okay, I don't want to... First floor art. Oh, okay. Oh, Ophelia. I didn't even see this. What am I supposed to do with it? Is it the time passed? Like, I was supposed to do that after, but I didn't. She's sound asleep, but she's shivering. Must be feeling really sick. I gotta make her eat something tomorrow. Maybe take some old cold medicine? I keep pressing X when I'm trying to press C. Probably shouldn't go upstairs without asking. Ugh, just remembered my phone's dead. I better get it charging. Was there an outlet around here? There's a lamp here. Desk and outlet. Okay. Oh, I can charge the phone here. Right, that'll do her. Bedtime. Who's eating my rug? Cut it out. I hear water again. Uh, what? What the f in the fresh hell? The house is full of water. Right, just just a dream, cause I'm not drowning. Boy, what a weird dream. Ah! <laughs> Was there something there? It, it went toward Yuka's room. <gasps> Just a dream. What an awful dream. Hey, morning, man. You look sleepy as hell. At least go wash your face, you dope. Hey, Yuka, it's morning. You feeling a little better yet? We can go to the hospital if it's bad, okay? Y Yuka? Yuka, hey, come on! Y Yuka, what happened to you? Y you're all swollen. Well, hey, what the hell? Ren, call an ambulance. Uh, am ambulance? There's a phone in the living room. Call an ambulance. Hurry! 
Thank you for joining me as I played Mermaid Swamp by Yuri Games. The next episode will be out shortly. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, a follow, and ring that notification bell so you know when a new episode drops. Also, don't forget to check out the completely free Discord server to chat about games and whatever else is on your mind. Let's keep the comments chill so no hate or spoilers as I'm not above removing those comments and the people who make them. That's all for now, folks, and I'll see you next time.